and welcome to another round of sports reviews. Tonight I'm reviewing Toronto FC 1, CF Montreal 1. They draw Toronto FC, who honestly deserve to win tonight. Draw against Montreal late on, and they knock Montreal out of the playoff places. They hurt their playoff chances, and you love to see it. The 401 Derby goes our way somewhat this year. I mean, I wouldn't say it went fully our way, but we should have won the game and we put Montreal out of the playoff spot. So at halftime, it was nil-nil. The 55th minute, Sanusi Ibrahim scores the goal. Ball crossed in. He takes a shot. He is offside on the first one, I think. Westberg saves it, bounces up. Sanusi taps it in. Doesn't get cleared enough. He taps it in. 1-0 Montreal. Then Josie Altidore gets fouled. There's a foul. 90 plus 5, Josie did get fouled. 90 plus 5, and he gets to take the free kick. Him and Pozuelo stand over it. Josie Altidore takes it, bangs it in near post pace past James Panamus, but that ball did have some pace. 90 plus 5, goal for Josie Altidore. He could have sinked Montreal's season just at the right time. If not, did sink it. I'd love for them to look back and be like, oh, Josie sunk it. That would be great. 1-1 for Toronto FC. What a great goal by Josie Altidore. They should have won, honestly. That first goal was a spawny, bad goal against TFC. And honestly, we should have won 1-0 or 2-0. We should have been up at the half. And we should have won this game, honestly. The stats are as follows. 16 shots to 7. 9 shots on target to 1. 54% possession to 46% possession. 622 passes to 561. 87% pass accuracy to 86% pass accuracy. 11 fouls to 10. 4 yellow cards to 1. 0 red cards on either side. 1 offside to 3. 6 corners to 4. As I said, Toronto FC were the better team tonight. No question at all. They played better. They were stronger. They had a lot of grit. They had a lot of fight. Their play was great. They were strong. Yes, they made one mistake. And that's why it's a draw instead of a win. And our forwards are still pretty much Bernie's from weekend at Bernie's. But Josie came up at the right time to draw this game and hurt Montreal and put them on a bad swing of form. Because a goal like that, knocking you out of the playoff places, you may not come back from that with three matches to go. So with that being said, thank you, Josie. And I know they'll probably be coming for blood in the Canadian Championship Final, but if we could play like that and we play them in the Canadian Championship Final, I think we could win, honestly. I'm still not happy with the goal they allowed from Sanusi Ibrahim, but honestly, he was right there to make a good play. I can't get mad at that. I can't. I can't. Westberg saved it. And it just falls right back to Sanusi. They couldn't clear it. And he taps it in. That's what happens when you make heads up plays and keep the run going after you take the shot. And I can't blame him for that. I am mad at the defense, but he gets unoffside because of the save. He's right there to tap the rebound home. It is what it is. You cannot really get mad at that when it comes to it at all. You can't. You can't. Honestly, I think that was a bad mistake for Toronto, but you live and you learn. But then again, you've been living and learning all year. But that's life. Such is life. C'est la vie, whatever the hell. You know, but I'm happy with the draw. TFC showed so much fight, so much heart. They drew the 4-1 derby in a way that sort of felt like a win because it knocks Montreal out of the playoffs and Josie Altador hits it right at the last second, the last opportunity they had to score the goal, they scored a damn goal. It was a great way to end it. You're going to remember that. It may not have been the best 4-1 derby, but you're going to remember that ending, especially if you're a Toronto fan, and honestly, Montreal fan, especially if they missed the playoffs. I cannot, and I'm sorry, I cannot, zero chance in hell, live a giant Montreal playoff run and have to be on live or talking about most of those games because I guarantee you those are going to end up being the live streams or RSRs or something, and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt me. But, hey, that's live. Again, such is live. So it'd be nice to see them miss the playoffs because if they make it, they're going to make a big run, and then, of course, you have the Canadian Championship Final and all that. 
It's going to be like Dangle and the Habs. At one hand, they make me more money this offseason, but on the other hand, they're my sworn enemy. And honestly, when it comes to CF Montreal, they are my sworn enemy. Dangle, he has, really has no problem with the Habs because he's part of that age. Now, probably after that first round, he does, but again, he doesn't really care. I do, you know? We hate CF Montreal. The Habs, I hate the Habs as well, but most Leafs fans are like, yeah, even past that playoff series, they were more pissed off at the Leafs than the Habs after what happened. So it is what it is. But, hey, that's life. Again, such is life. But TFC, the way they played was awesome. This was their best game of the year, honestly. They should have won. They drew, but they should have won. This was one of their best performances. Their best performance of the year, actually, bar none. Yeah, they beat Nashville at home. They beat Cincinnati, but this was a team who actually had quality. They beat New England. They almost blew that game. But they actually beat a team with some quality and a team that they will play probably in the Canadian Championship Final. And they're going to want blood. This was their best performance. This show, we could beat them. Now, does this hurt us probably winning the Canadian Championship? Probably, because, you know, a couple of weeks later, we're going to have to play them again. They're going to remember this, and if, especially if they miss the playoffs, they're going to want our head. And that's, that's fine. Come on. Okay? It is what it is. Bring it. Bring it. Just bring it. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. You know, like The Rock says. The Rock says. You know, like that. I can't do... I can't do the people's eyebrow, but whatever. Um, but Toronto, the way they played, Pozuelo looked great. He actually looked like he was on form. Josie Altador, great play. The defense, Bradley and Mavinga worked so well together. Jaquiel Marshall Ruddy looked amazing. Jaquiel looked amazing. Jaden Nelson looked good when he got on the pitch. I was proud of them. They they looked good, okay? They looked great. Jacob Schaffelberg looked pretty good. Patrick Mullins, of course, he's a waste of space like he always is. I mean, that's Patrick Mullins. He hasn't scored a goal in over a year. The last time he scored was against Cincinnati. So pretty much he hasn't scored since, well, hell, the last time he scored in 2019. Guess who? Cincinnati. He hasn't scored since August. An actual goal against an actual good team since August of 2019 against Orlando City. Maybe the Ottawa Fury game was a little bit later, but no, the home leg. Actually, no, but then again, Ottawa Fury, if you're going to give Cincinnati. Actually, Ottawa Fury was probably better than Cincinnati at that point. Yeah, so Ottawa Fury a couple of days later. Um, but other than that, against an actual team, he is... Oh, wait, no, NYCFC in the MLS is back tournament. Oh, yeah. But technically, that doesn't count in the standings because the tournament standings don't count. Or what happened in the tournament doesn't count. It got ixnayed. It got ixnayed as soon as uh, it was over. Besides the fact Portland went to the Champions League. But other than that, so honestly, that doesn't count. But, you know, okay, we'll be nice. July 2020. We'll be nice to Patrick Mullins. We don't have to be a savage all the time. I'll be nice to him. July 2020. I'll give him that one, even though we were losing. But whatever. The players played well. Westberg was great. If it was Bono, we probably would have lost 3-0, honestly, or 3-1. So I'll say Westberg did a lot of help to put us through the way we did, or not put us through, but draw the match the way we did. So I'll give Westberg that. I'll say man of the match, Josie Altador, just for pissing off Montreal again, getting that free kick and pissing off Montreal again. Because you know what? We always love Montreal getting pissed off. That's life. It's the best. So we'll go with it, okay? We'll go with it. Um, Josie Altador, man of the match. I love it. What a fight by Toronto FC. What a performance. Great match. They deserve more than the draw, but damn it, Montreal are out of the playoffs, and that's enough for me considering this doesn't matter one bit besides that. We hurt their playoff chances. That's good enough for me. Honestly, that's good enough for me. Now let's keep this night being happy, and hopefully the Braves beat the Dodgers. Looks like they will. Not that I'm doing a video about it, but... You know, we all want the Braves to win. I think we all can agree on that, right? Because unless you're from L.A., then we can't. But anything else, yeah. 
Don't get reverse swept again. Come on. Don't. Don't do it again. Again, I'm from Mississippi. I have a soft spot for the Braves. Let it be. But with that being said, Toronto FC, what a win. Strong game. Everybody was great, honestly. Even without, even with a mistake, everybody was great. Now, I was a little bit angry during the stream, but we deserved to win. I thought we were better, and we should have won. Should have been up already before that first goal, and we should have won anyway. Should have been 2-1, to one, but hey, it is what it is. That's why I support this team. I want better, right? And of course I'm going to be angry, especially against Montreal. But we drew and knocked them out of a playoff spot. Of course I'm happy now. I probably also may have a little bit of undiagnosed bipolar, probably. But I wouldn't be shocked. But, and probably also some undiagnosed autism or something, probably. I wouldn't be shocked about that either. But, let's be honest, it's, it's probably, that's possible, probably. Who knows? I don't give a crap. It is what it is. So with that said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends on Tuesday. I have a preview of Club America versus CF Monterrey, Rayados in the CONCACAF Champions League Final. I will be previewing that match as well be on the Down by the River podcast. El Parcero Phillies podcast to preview Toronto versus the Philadelphia Union that will be on the next day. I'll be doing that first, then I'll record my preview for the CONCACAF Champions League Final and put that up so we got some stuff on Tuesday, but nothing till then. A good couple of days off before this big week and then next week and then the last international window of the year and then the playoff run. So we got a little bit of a short time and then we'll see what happens. But I think, and then of course the international break really isn't hectic. It really isn't, but two matches, turn around, be a little bit more hectic, but uh, it ain't that bad. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked this video, like, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Check out my Patreon. Five, ten, or twenty dollars a month. Anything's appreciated. Help support the channel. Be awesome if you do. Also support by liking, sharing, commenting, super chats on the live streams, putting this in playlists, sharing this with your friends and family. All of that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Ryan, and I'm out. Peace. See you soon. Come on, you Reds. Let's go. Play Gloria.